Hi, this is David Wicks, Director of Instructional Technology at Seattle Pacific University. And in this screencast, I'm going to show you how that you might use TalkWheel um, instead of the discussion board in Blackboard for discussions that you might have, interactions that you have uh, with students in the class. And so uh, if we're looking at this course, we see a link here to TalkWheel. Uh, we'll come back to this, but this link to TalkWheel um, is set to where it will just go to the TalkWheel website and be a place where you can quickly access it from the course. Um, so now, uh, as a student, you would have received an email message from me similar to this where I'm inviting you. And depending on the size of um, your class, uh, you may see something like this where I'm um, allowing you to join just part of the class in a discussion as I don't want these groups to be too big. Uh, so when you get this email, um, you would accept to join it. And it's telling me that I've already subscribed to this subject, but you'll get the message saying that you haven't. You'll be able to click OK and it'll take you to where you can log in to TalkWheel. Um, you'll want to first set up an account. So um, you'll want to um, enter a name, email, password, and confirm your password and register. And then once you've done that, um, you'll actually log in. So you'll put in your username and password here and log in. And that will take you to um, TalkWheel. Um, this would make it so that if you leave this browser open, you're going to get um, notifications about um, what's going on uh, in this. So I'm going to go ahead and allow that. And then uh, once you're in, you'll want to, you can see up here it has my name. And I want to go up there and I can edit my profile. And here's where you could modify um, what your name said. You could change um, your picture. So I'd encourage you to, to use a picture of yourself. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you can use a picture of something else. Uh, but I encourage you to, to change to make sure that you have your own ic um, icon in, in the uh, program. And then it also um, tells you what groups you're in. And you're in uh, my group right now, which is the one for the course, but you could join other groups that are in TalkWheel. Uh, it's a fairly new tool, so there's um, uh, not a whole lot out there. Uh, but you can also create your own group. So if you want to use this with your own students, uh, it would be possible to do that um, if those students are of an age where they have an email address, um, which is the requirement for um, being on this community. So now, um, if you changed your picture, you'd click here. And I'm going to just quickly go to my desktop and a picture in here and there you can see uh, uh, this is the virtual me I'm already in as the instructor so I'll save this okay so you see um, that's me as the instructor I've put uh, an initial um, post in here and so now um, you would want to re reply to this prompt. And so I want to just make it clear here, up here where it says add topic, um, for right now I don't want you to select that. That would be creating a new forum, a new discussion folder area uh, where people could uh, have a discussion on a topic. Maybe later we can do that, but for right now I'd like to keep the, the uh, topics um, to be something that I create uh, that are specifically for the for the course. So um, what you'll want to do is reply to my prompt. So here it's um, giving you a prompt from the first module and so you would click on reply here and um, I'm just going to type real quickly in here. And you can see uh, that it's got my picture. This is who will be posted when I post this. Um, you can put web links in here. Um, you can format the text uh, if you'd like. And then you can click Submit.
And when you do that over on this side of the screen, it will be somewhat indented from the original message. And you'll, you'll be able to see that um, you've replied. And so anyone who would reply to my message would be indented from me. So you get the same kind of threaded um, uh, view that you would in a uh, text-based forum. But what you also get is over on this side, uh, you get this actual um, graphical representation of the discussion. So once this discussion gets going, what you'll be able to see is who's replying to who, who's talking to who, how many times have you participated. Each time you participate, um, they'll, uh, a line will draw from, from your uh, icon to where, whoever you are replying to. And so we should be able to see uh, visually uh, how the discussion's unfolding. And as an instructor, this will be valuable information for me uh, because I'll quickly be able to look at the picture and um, get a good idea of maybe who uh, doesn't understand uh, what some of the requirements of our discussion are. And by the way, if, if you're um, uh, unsure about that, please look at our syllabus and under discussion you'll see uh, what my expectations are for the discussion. So I hope this has helped you out. I hope this has been informative to you. Um, when you would be finished with this, um, you can just close the browser window to log out. Back over in um, Blackboard, let me just show you quickly that if I log in as the instructor here, Okay, it has me in um, several different groups here. So this is what TalkWheel looks like with lots of people in it. We're going to at most have a, 11 uh, people or 10 people in a group, uh, so it won't look quite this busy. Uh, but um, here is where I'm going to select, and I'll be able to go to that same group. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is that group that I was looking at. So if you were in multiple ones, this is how you would be able to, to go back and forth between them. Um, once there's a lot of topics, you'll be able to click on this Show Topics link and see multiple topics. And you yourself could create your own groups. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I uh, hope you have a good day. Thanks. Bye-bye.